Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to talk about the difference between cloud computing and DevOps. So we're going to learn about what are the duties and responsibilities of a cloud engineer versus a DevOps engineer. You'll also learn about the salary expectations and you can do that course, you know, uh, and what are the different kind of certifications that are available in the market if you want to become a cloud engineer or a DevOps engineer. So without further ado, let's begin. So first of all, let's talk about uh, what is cloud computing in general or who is a cloud computing engineer. Okay, so now let's talk about what is cloud computing. So imagine that you're working in an organization uh, remotely, okay, and you want to access different kind of files, data, or something else, you know, such as an application. Uh, but since the server is actually a physical server in the company itself, you won't be able to do that remotely. However, with cloud, uh, the problem is solved. So cloud is basically accessing different kind of storage, uh, you know, storage or files, etc. Uh, remotely via the internet. So that is what cloud computing is. Cloud computing is basically the delivery of different kind of services, servers or any kind of, you know, uh, file, etc. through the internet. So the role of a cloud computing engineer is actually to implement, manage and deploy different kind of, you know, applications or cloud computing services through the internet. So he maintains, he deploys, and he also, you know, integrates different kinds of cloud computing services so that sums up the major role and the second most important task of a cloud computing engineer is to build scalable apps and services so scalability uh, has been an issue altogether with the physical servers so the physical infrastructure, it became quite cost inefficient. So the main benefit of cloud computing is that businesses can actually gain various infrastructure resources on demand rather than actually investing in physical infrastructure. So that is quite a cost effective solution for a lot of business organizations and enterprises. So some of the most commonly and popular cloud computing uh, service providers in the industry include Amazon Web Services which is by Amazon, of course. We also have Microsoft's Azure. And lastly, uh, third most popular one is Google Cloud Platform, which is by Google, so GCP. So AWS is one of the most popular and it is the hash one cloud computing service provider, followed by Azure and then GCP. So now let's talk about what is actually DevOps and what a DevOps engineer do. So DevOps, it focuses heavily on collaboration, automation, and at the same time, uh, reducing the software development life cycle. So the major focus of DevOps is minimizing the software development life cycle and how it happens through automation, collaboration, and third one is actually through CI CD pipelines. As a CI CD pipeline, basically it is continuous integration and continuous delivery. Uh, a DevOps engineer, he acts as a bridge between the software developers that are actually, you know, creating a certain kind of application or software and where they build it, they stage it and test it. Uh, and at the same time, it has to go to the production level as well, which is done by the operations team. So a uh, DevOps engineer uh, actually cancels down all the siloed uh, pathways. So 
any kind of isolated work that was going on between software developers and the operations engineers uh, that is where the gap is bridged by devops engineer and this basically reduces the software development life cycle so for example if it takes you know two weeks to create a software a devops engineer would come in and he can even automate the whole uh, life cycle of a software development uh, application and it could be created in you know just two to four hours so that is quite impactful so the popularity of both devops engineers and cloud computing engineers has increased substantially and it is spiking up only and even with the advent of ai the need for cloud computing engineers and devops is only going to increase so now let's talk about what are some of the most popular cloud computing certifications that are available in the market so starting off with number one is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect. So this is actually an associate level certification, uh, which means that beginners can do it. Uh, so, or you are all either working as a network engineer or any kind of on-premise technology and you want to switch to cloud, then AWS Certified Solutions Architect is the perfect starting point. So what you majorly cover in the certification is that you learn uh, how to scale up cost and uh, you know create performance optimized solutions so cost plus performance optimized solutions so uh, i'll just give you a basic overview if you want to get the certification you need to need to take the exam so, so the exam is almost around 130 minutes long and there are around 65 mcqs mostly okay and this is mostly an online proctored exam so the aws certified solutions architect is a perfect choice of certification when you're just starting out in the cloud and considering the demand of aws itself in the market it is one of the best certifications to go for and as far as the coding or programming part is concerned you would require minimal to no coding experience to begin with the aws certified solutions architect the second one uh, and the second most popular certification related to cloud computing is by Microsoft, uh, which is the Microsoft Certified Azure Solutions. This is again an architect or associate level certification that you can go for. So the Ma Microsoft Solutions uh, certification, I would recommend these to all those candidates who actually have Windows Server knowledge. So either you have uh, MCSA certification under your belt or you know about the Windows Server. Then this would be a great upgrade, you know, going into the cloud computing realm. The third one is Google's own Google Professional Cloud Architect uh, certification. So it covers all the uh, infrastructure and the cloud infrastructure that is under the umbrella of Google. And the fourth one is CompTIA Cloud Plus. So CompTIA certifications are popular because they are, uh, you know, uh, they are actually vendor neutral. So uh, this can also be a great starting point if you have zero knowledge about cloud and you're just starting out. So basically vendor neutral means that it doesn't focus on a specific, uh, you know, service provider such as AWS or Microsoft. So these are some of the four uh, best certifications that can serve as a starting point if you want to become a cloud engineer. Now let's talk about the certifications that you can go for if you want to become a DevOps engineer. Now let's talk about the certifications you can go for if you want to take the DevOps path. So the number one and the most popular one is the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer, which is actually a professional level certification. Uh, in DevOps, you should first of all learn a lot of tools and technologies. So majorly talking about the tools, we have almost 13 to 14 tools that are covered in DevOps. So the DevOps path is mostly taken by the working professionals who are already either working as a network engineer or, you know, a Windows Server administrator or anyone who is working as a software developer and they want to, you know, upgrade themselves. 
so that is when people go for devops certification so uh, for example if you are just a fresh graduate i would recommend you to go for the devops certification since you also need to be handy with linux or shell scripting so even a lot of linux administrators they can upgrade themselves as a devops engineer the second one is the microsoft certified devops engineer expert it is yet again an expert level certification followed by google professional devops engineer and then we also have docker certified associate so since i was talking about the different tools by the way if you really want to dive deep into those tools you can check out our video related to devops uh, the link is given in the description box and then the fifth one is hashicorp's terraform associate so terraform is yet again another most important tool uh, for devops so it is actually infrastructure as code tool what it does is that developers or the devops engineers they can actually code inside it they can build applications and they can also do version control and uh, that basically works for on-prem as well as cloud resources so uh, hashicorp itself provides the terraform associate certification so it's a beginner level certification you can also uh, go for the certification so these five are some of the most important devops level certifications that you can opt for if you're starting out as a devops engineer so one of the most important points that i would like to highlight here is that why should you actually go for certifications the major reason is that a lot of organizations you know when you're applying for jobs the candidates uh, set themselves apart from the other crowd you know uh, through certifications so certifications are a great value additions in this in your resume and they can help you land a job rather easily so now let's talk about the certifications that you can go for if you want to become a devops engineer or a cloud engineer so talking about the cloud engineer first of all we have the cloud architect role so uh, you can land and become a cloud architect after doing the associate level certifications by aws or azure which is by microsoft and the second one is the cloud security specialist so this is actually a high level role in the cloud computing market so the cloud security specialist for this you can take the aws cloud uh, certified security specialist level certification so if you're interested to go for you know the speciality level roles uh, you can actually check out our uh, aws cloud security master's program so what essentially is this program so basically uh, we have a lot of master's programs so the focus of these master's program is to become job ready so we want you to land a job directly after doing our courses so this program it actually covers the aws associate level certification uh, which was the cloud architect and then we also have the speciality level certification which is the security and then it also covers uh, the networking part so there are three certifications that you can prepare for uh, through the aws cloud security master's program so it is a great choice to go for if you want to start out your career in the aws industry as a cloud engineer the third one is the cloud systems administrator followed by the fourth one which is the cloud consultant so cloud consultant is quite a high level uh, you know job role in the market you can only go for it if you have around 6 to 10 years of experience in the industry so if i talk about the salary part of a cloud engineer so in the us mostly uh, the average salary range is between 120k to uh, we have 150k and talking about uh, the salary expectations in India, uh, the starting salary could be around 3 lakhs per annum and it can uh, go up to in fact 25 lakhs, uh, depends on the experience of course, with an average salary of around 7 lakhs per annum. So uh, the industry is quite lucrative and you can definitely go for the certifications to start out as an entry level cloud architect engineer role and then you can further you know become more specialized in the industry and land higher level job roles. 
Now let's talk about the various job opportunities in the DevOps market. So in the DevOps market, you can go for the DevOps engineer or role, and then you can also become a build and release engineer. And then we also have site reliability engineer. We have automation expert since you learn, you know, how to automate all the infrastructure in the DevOps. You also have infrastructure engineer. And lastly, we have CICD pipeline manager. So some of the basic tools that you can learn to land these roles are such as Jenkins, we have Terraform, we have ELK, Prometheus, uh, Shell Scripting, Linux, uh, AWS. So even cloud is covered in DevOps if you want to land a better paying job. So if you want to learn all these tools and technologies, you can also check out our DevOps master's program. So we cover all these 14 plus technologies and tools in our DevOps master's program and you can become job ready. So I would recommend that course to all those people, you know, who have basic Linux knowledge or basic Python knowledge and uh, or either they are working as a network engineer and they want to upskill as a DevOps engineer, they can go for that certification, of course. So you can check out the links to our master's program right in the description box. So talking about the DevOps engineer salary in the US, it ranges around 110K to 140K annually. And in India, it could range around 3.8 lakhs per annum. And it can even go up to 33 lakhs per annum. But talking about the average salary with around two years of experience or one and a half years of experience, it could be around 12.5 lakhs per annum. Rest sky is the limit when we talk about DevOps or cloud computing. So I think to conclude, both of these, uh, you know, uh, the market of cloud computing or DevOps are quite lucrative and they are going nowhere even with the advent of AI. So if you want to start your career either in DevOps or cloud, you can check out our courses, of course, and you can browse them. Or you can also connect to your personal career counselors that are provided by us. So that link is also right in the description. You can check that out. So stay tuned for our upcoming video because that's it for today's video. Thank you so much, guys.